Let's factor the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9. And here's how we'll do it. We'll start with a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation. Then we add the signs. So here the middle term is negative. When the middle term is negative, we're just going to put a negative and a negative in our skeleton equation like this. Next, we're going to find the factors for that last term, that 9, and they should add up to the middle term, that negative 6. So the factors for 9, 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. So 3 plus 3, that would give us 6. Let's put a 3 here and a 3 here. And we've factored the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9. We should check our work, though, with the FOIL method. We multiply the first, outside, inside, and then last terms. We end up with, and if we combine negative 3x and negative 3x, we'll get this negative 6x here. We have 9, we have x squared. Same thing we started with, so we factored the equation correctly. Let's take a moment, find the values for x, when we put them in the equation here, that it will make this side of the equation equal 0. 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. So we say x minus 3 equals 0, add 3 to both sides, and x equals 3. This would be the same thing here. So if you put the 3 in for x and you did the math, this side of the equation it's going to equal 0. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll also get this value here. One last thing. Since we have x minus 3 and x minus 3, we could just write x minus 3 squared, and that would be the same thing. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9. Thanks for watching.